5000 rupee banknote issued in 1960 most of us aren't even aware of its existence but the ones who know are willing to spend a few lakhs for it just like this coins and currency give us fascinating insights to our history our heritage our culture some historical evidence even suggests that we indians invented coinage somewhere between 6th and 5th century bc from the punch marked coins to silver coins with no definite shape to pictorial gold coins of the Mughal and Gupta dynasties the evolution of coins really is an intriguing journey through time so while some like the history behind coinage some others amass a collection which is worthy of handing down to future generations or for some it could be a sound business idea no matter what your purpose collecting coins is like a treasure hunt and the quest to complete the collection could easily turn into an obsession it's not every day that you sit by with friends have a cup of chai with them and then talk about collections and this one is a coin collection that kezar then this runs in his family he's been looking at coins very very closely and not just coins really kezar no all sorts of things not only coins even bank notes and medals with the entire uh, paraphernalia that comes under numismatic the kind of collection that you have over here i'm looking at coins and what we think of coins are just round pieces of metal but here what i'm looking at very very different what is well, this this is actually a bent bar this is as old as you want to take a guess it's as old as 6th century bc and it comes from, it's the earliest coinage in india this is a punch mark this is this is what came after the bent bar, bars uh see by the time uh, by the time mankind progressed they realized that instead of of uh, of making circular marks on uh, elongated pieces of silver why don't we just make circular marks on circular pieces of silver and that's how the coin came into being they go back in time these pieces that we are looking at right now but how much do they cost Uh, well, the bent, the silver bent bars start anywhere between eighteen thousand, fifteen thousand to twenty thousand rupees, mm -hmm. and uh, the punch marks because they are lighter and uh, in weight, anywhere between three and a half thousand to eight thousand rupees, depending upon what kind of iconography each one has. This is pure silver. This is pure silver. This is what I would like to call base silver. It's is silver as it was mined in those right. days. So oh. yes, with certain impurities, but more or less, uh, there was, nothing was done to adulterate the content of silver within the metal. You know silver is right now shooting up shooting up yes but what you're actually paying most for is the premium on this product because of the time period that these absolutely. were generated in absolutely you uh, i mean most of the premium is for taking a piece of history taking something that's actually been there for 2500 years and having it holding it in your hands appreciating it understanding it and trying to trace your roots back to it now if you see this particular if you see this particular coin Correct it looks like an ordinary 1 rupee coin sure correct but it's an it's what sets it different is that it's a pattern only thing it differs from is if you see it says so ne paise and it has a dot right below the 1960 and that's a pattern that's a pattern and that's why it costs 2 lakh 25000 2 lakh 25000 2 lakh 25000 lakh 25000 for a 1 rupee coin for a 1 rupee coin but if you have the same 1 rupee coin without the dot it still is a rupee So it's the dot that makes all the difference on this particular one. You have certain notes over there too. It's a hundred rupee note in eight of eighteen sixty five. It's by far one of the most rarest notes in Indian numismatic history. It's almost like a tissue kind of paper that was never used. I see. Uh, consequently, because then. 
See, the reason is that you see, in those days, a hundred rupees had a lot of value. Right. To have a hundred rupee note, it's a huge thing. <laughs> but why would they put a hundred rupee note on paper, which is almost like tissue? Well, because at that time they didn't know better, did they? <laughs> that's why. That's why not many survive. That's true. And that's why we have this and kind. And the of... one that has survived is now in your hands. Well, one of them is in my yes. hand. Yes. And how many of these would be around? A handful. A yes. handful all across the world. And if you want to start your own collection, we suggest you hang on to that 25 paise coin. Thanks to rising inflation and the government of India, the coin will soon be history. The 25 paise coin will join the likes of the aluminium struck coins of 20, 10 and 5 paise. Since the finance ministry is considering recycling the 25 paise into a 50 paise, these coins will soon be a rarity and could turn into a worthwhile collectible. Do you really think there is merit if people are going to look at uh, putting in money into collectibles like coins, like uh, banknotes, uh, the kind that you have? Do you think it's a good investment right now? We've been following the numismatic market for a long time and if you consider the gains that one holds in the numismatic mark, in numismatics, I would say that it is comfortably, uh, the hobby earns you anywhere between 15 to 25 percent year on year return. Year on year return? Year on year return and, that, and there's, a, there's very solid reason for that. But um, that's as much as the stock market's trading. Well, yes, but you see it's more safer, isn't it's it? It's safer. It's safer. The, there's, there's no reason why, um, uh, we have to understand that supply of these things are is almost negligible considering that no new uh, no new old coins are manufactured anymore in terms of an investment it's all very safe but what about physical safety because when you're putting in money in the stock markets obviously there's this notional kind of security that you have but over here because it's uh, physical in nature you're not quite sure it's open to the elements isn't it well not really they're not really hard to maintain uh, it, the coins on that bit is not hard to maintain Coins are made out of silver and gold generally, noble metals which generally don't corrode, uh, do not get damaged by the elements. Mm -hmm. uh, however, yes, banknotes are a concern, but the thing is that we sell banknotes in, in special sleeves made of specialized plastic which uh, protects these and uh, which perpetuates the condition of the banknote. But you, Kezad, don't restrict it to coins and banknotes, etc. You have other interests as well. You believe in collectibles as a way of uh, pursuing passions and turning them into, you know, profitable ventures. Profitable ventures, like you have in this case. Yes. Uh, well, uh, each one in my family has a particular personal taste. Uh, I am, um, I love collectibles, uh, uh, early 20th century collectibles and kitsch as it's called. My mother collects uh, advertising pub jugs, uh, my father collects uh, antiquities and uh, objects of art. And so yes, we all have a passion of collecting and someday, uh, if time permits, uh, we'll uh, We'll present that also to the public. My God, it runs in the family, doesn't it? It does. It believes in collections. Well, there are ways you can turn that into a profitable venture, just like Kezad and his family have. We are going to tell you more about that in just a bit. Stay with us here on Smart Money Aspire. A roll of toilet paper bearing the name of comic book superheroes for 4,000 rupees. A first edition of the Terry Toons comic book for 41,000 rupees. A pair of medieval dungeon castle handcuffs for a lakh or a vintage road sign from Wall Street for 55 lakh rupees. These are items that are fetching big money in the collectibles market. But collecting does not have to be an expensive hobby. It can even be free. Whether you collect by passion or by profession, collections bring fun, interest and could also turn out to be a smart investment idea. So as strange as it may sound, your collection could even be soft toys that you once adored, a wrapper of a chocolate that you relished, or even an air sickness bag from an airline that you once travelled on. If you don't believe us, just visit airsicknessbag.com.